Remember that there are two types of linear equations that do not have both variables. Um, one is an x equals a constant, and the other is a y equals a constant. In our previous study, we recognized that when we have y equals a, a value, that that's a horizontal line. Here's the graph of the equation where y is always equal to 4. Remind yourself that the graph of that line is perpendicular to its own axes. And if I wanted to find the slope of that line, I just chose to put two ordered pairs down. And remember, slope is defined as y sub 2 minus y sub 1 divided by x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And I'm going to go ahead and call this my second ordered pair and this my first ordered pair. So I'm going to take that 4 and subtract that 4 in the numerator. And therefore, I, I will take that 3 and subtract this negative 2. And when you subtract the negative number, you add. Don't forget that you add, uh, add 2 there. So I will have 0 divided by 5, and that is equal to 0. The slope of this line, I'm going to write it down here. The slope of this line is 0. And the way I remember that is to say to myself, it's flat. If I'm walking across a flat surface, it's very easy. It doesn't cause me any extra exertion. Um, it's, uh, it's equal to 0. So uh, we have to be careful. Please tell me the slope is equal to 0. If I were to have you graph or, or talk about the slope of a line where x is equal to a constant, let's go ahead and, and draw that. And I'm going to choose to use this ordered pair where x is a negative 2 and y is 3. And uh, let's go with this ordered pair where x is a negative 2 and y is a negative 5. And recall that the graph of a line where x equals a number, a constant, is a vertical line that is perpendicular to its own x axis. And using these two ordered pairs, I'd like to find the slope of that line, again, defined as y sub 2 minus y sub 1 divided by x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And I'm going to go ahead and use this as my second ordered pair versus that one. So I have to start with that y value, that 3, and subtract that negative 5. So 3 minus a negative 5 is 8. And then I have to take this negative 2 and subtract that negative 2. And remember, when you subtract, you add the opposite. And in the denominator, you're going to have a 0 this time. You have an 8 and then a 0. You have to tell me that the slope of this line, I'm going to write it over here, the slope of this line is undefined. I'm trying to think of it as a mountain climber. You know, how many of us can climb a vertical slope, a vertical cliff? I can't, and I'm, most of us can't without, um, and some people can with ropes. But define that one. Remember that that slope is undefined versus the flat line, which has a zero slope, which is something we can do, we can walk on. This one, flat line, is slope is equal to zero. A vertical line, its slope is undefined.